evening, everybody. I hope that you are all well and happy and ready for some good racing tonight. Um, before we do get into the racing, though, I've got a fair bit of housekeeping and news to go through with you. So I'm going to keep that as quick as I can. But before we do that, in the YouTube chat at the moment, we have got uh, Jenky, Gamer Dan, Captain420, um, Kyan. Kian, even if I get it right, it's Kian, isn't it? Oh man, I'm going to get this right. Um, Galacticor, Reese, Cargo Nige, uh, Lusu, and I'm sure I'm getting that one wrong as well. Ashley and Thugs, welcome to all of you. We've already got 12 people in the room already, and I can't believe that, as in in the lobby. I'll come to that in a moment. Um, so I think we're going to be kicking off pretty quickly, but an Awful lot has kicked off on Discord today. Lots of brilliant, brilliant stuff. People helping me to move the channel in a direction that I, I want to go to to get things a little bit quicker and a little bit slicker for everybody. Um, incidentally, I apologise if there are voices in the back. Um, Joe and Lauren having a big argument at the moment about packing for Friday. And with that in mind as well, um, please note that I probably will not be streaming lobbies tomorrow night because I've got to be up at the very early hours of the morning to take the ladies to the airport. Uh, so if I do get on um, at all tomorrow, it will probably just be some casual stuff. But um, I'm not planning on doing anything structured like we normally do. So please keep that uh, in mind. Um, good evening, Colin to Tom and good evening, Boggs. Got lots of people dropping in already. Um, so the news, basically, now that we're getting quite a full lobby, every night um i want to try and keep things ticking over quickly so that people aren't hanging around we're getting more racing done um, if we're doing more races we can have more people jumping in and jumping out which means we should be able to cater for a few more people um, and also as it grows we hopefully will have a few other lobbies that are available and i'm already talking to several of you about doing some complimentary events just before my stream and also during my stream so we've got some options um so one of the things I've, I've wanted to do and i've done a quick poll on it is whether we sort of want to carry on as we are or whether we want to tighten things up a little bit and have one night dedicated to a theme and i'm thinking along the lines of and this isn't for definite that on a monday we might do the daily races that people are working on. Um, obviously, Monday is the first day for a lot of us racing them, and people often want to get a decent time, but then they want to do a little bit of sparring with people on the new track, with the new car, with real racers, rather than just chasing ghosts and things. So we could do that on a Monday. Then Tuesday, we could do pure random races, something we haven't done in the randomizer more recently, and for that, I apologise. And then after the, um, on Wednesday, we might do our favorite races. On Thursday, we might go to a mix of favorite and fully random, leaving Friday with the Friday night specials that everybody loves. So that would be one option. The other option would be that we start with a one or two purely random races, as we're doing tonight, purely random races, followed by two or three of our favorite races. So races that we've run, that we like, that we put in the randomizer as favorites. And then finishing up again with the Nord Slifer in the evening, just um, two laps. And what I'm thinking is on Monday, we'll do GR. Well, on Monday, we might go with a road car. On Tuesday, a GR4. Wednesday, a GR3. Uh, Thursday, yeah, as we go through, basically we go GR4, 3, 2, 1. Um, so I would appreciate it if you could reply to the poll when you've got a moment accordingly. So whether you want to do one night dedicated to each. So Monday would be daily races, Tuesday, fully random, Wednesday, favorite, Thursday, random, stroke, favorite, and then Friday would be Friday uh, races. Or whether you would like to have random, favorite, and Nord Slifer all on the one night and have the choice throughout. Uh, at the moment, the poll is pretty much split. Uh, what have we got? We've got 15 votes. Uh, we've got one night dedicated to one theme at 53% and random favourite in Norge each night at 
So as usual with my polls, it looks like we're going to go 50-50 down the road and I won't know which way to go. Um, quite normal, quite normal um, when we start doing all of that. Um, and as I say, that it's now gone 56-44. So um, yes, we'll see how that one winds up. Oh, it's bouncing around a bit at the moment. We'll see how that one works out a little bit later on. Um, uh, Matt, welcome to the stream this evening and thank you for your um, input on the discord earlier on um fargo nice says what was the middle option again the middle option is that you can just disappear and go and do your own thing on somebody else's lobby that's always an option for you you don't have to race with me i don't care i've got a thick skin um <laughs> so um yeah so basically um the other thing that we're going to do the other thing we're going to start doing, and I apologize, I'm going through lots and lots of stuff here. Um, the other thing we're going to do is I'm not going to be running the randomizer during the stream. We're going to be running the randomizer at the end of the stream, making a note of the um, combos and the races, the favorite races that we like. We might do six um, each evening, and those will be the races that we will do the following evening. And the idea is in Discord and also in the um, description for the video, I will put in what we're going to be running. So, for instance, tonight, because of the race on Friday, we're going to be do doing Barcelona, the feature race, which is a 12 lapper. We'd be doing the Barcelona sprint race, which is the six. We're then going to be looking at two purely random races and the randomized thrown up Spa with the AMG Mercedes GTS 15. We'll also be doing Fuji in the GR2 car, so whatever GR2 car that you like. And then we're doing favourite race number eight, which is the BMW M303 at Deep Forest. Then we'll be heading off to Sardegna in the Genesis XGR3. And theoretically, you could choose whatever GR3 you want, but the randomizer just defined the Genesis. So it's a good old car. Um, and then we'll be heading off to the Nürburgring in GR2s for the end because... I think Monday we did the Cosworths. Last night we did GR3, so I thought we'd just do GR2s um, tonight. So that's basically what we are doing. And as Boggs says, Nords should be mandatory. And I agree with that. Nords is a great little race that we always finish up the night on. I do appreciate that a lot of people don't actually get to do Nords because we finish up with it. Maybe once in a while we'll start with it. I really, really don't know. Um, so lots and lots and lots of change going on and lots of discussion about this in Discord. And I'd like to thank everybody on two counts. Firstly, all of those that have been contributing to their thoughts and wishes in the Discord. And um, that's helping me to formulate plans a little bit. And also... Um, thank you to everybody that helped with the... Um, uh the replay last night the, the stewarding of the replay last night i learned a lot and i found that really 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 useful and um i think dan is in um i hope you are feeling okay today my friend um assuming i've got the right person uh i know you're going through a tough time at the moment and i hope that things have been a little bit better for you today um there's a few people losing loved ones at the moment and it's really rather sad um, I know it is life, but my uh, my thoughts and best wishes go out to those of you that are in that are uh, missing people right now. Um, when things like this happen, it reminds me of the the people that uh, you know aren't around in my life anymore. Um, okay, so uh, what have we got? We've got sixteen in the room. Oh, the other thing as well is what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to start announcing the qualifying time. And so long as we've got more eight or more people in the lobby, I am going to be kicking it off at that time, whether people have got cars, whether they're ready or not. This was all part of the idea of publishing the cars before we start the evening so people can go and grab their cars if they want to, rather than me waiting around for people to buy a car and buy the tyres and then do whatever they want to the car. And it's slowing it down. It's all really about just trying to get a few, through a few more races than we can. So um, with that in mind, I'm going to go qualifier at um, 21.11, just to give me a minute or so, just to catch my own breath. 
after what was a rather long welcome introduction. Um, in the uh, yeah, game it down. I, I, my thoughts with you today, my friend. Um, I, I hope that you're well and as well as can be expected, and, and family is good and just rallying around each other. Um, it's very easy for me to send my condolences, whatever. Um, but I really do, I really do mean it. I I feel for everybody that loses people. Um, right. Oh, crikey. The captain was at a, a funeral for his, on Monday for his uncle. It's, it's crazy. Um, yeah, it's all, it's all, it's all not good. It's all not good. Um, right, right, right. Where am I? Where am I? Where am I? Where am I? Um, so we're going to start the qualifier at 2111. Uh, in the room, we have got Jack Kobe, Collie de Tom, Game of Dan, uh, Lusu, uh, Keenan, Jenki, Ernie Ball, Carlos, myself, Mad Mikey, Reese, Lewis, and who else have we got? Uh, Malkovich, Orion, Thugs, and GT Tom. As always, guys, please keep it respectful. If you do bump somebody by accident or otherwise, hopefully not otherwise, um, please just give the place back by way of an apology. Just explain in the chat what happened and hopefully we will all be friends. Um, I've got to continue to learn from some of the things that I've been doing recently. One of which now that I'm starting to get a bit quicker is to be a little bit more aware of my surroundings and who's around me and try not to run people off like I did with, um, who was it I, I ran off yesterday? I think it was um, Keenan, wasn't it? I think. Um, Keenan. That name, I am going to get that name right. I apologise, my friend. I am going to get that right. Um, it's Kean, isn't it? G give me a thumbs up if I've got it right. Um, and um, yes, yeah, so I've got to be a little bit more aware. And uh, yeah, we all do, really. And just learn from learn from what we're doing. Thank you, my friend. I am going to get it right. I've been so... I've been calling you Cyan for so long that um, it's now trying to get my head around it. And I hate it when I get people's names wrong. It's like Hoon forever. I was calling him Hoon Saber forever. And then one day I realized what it was and I used the right name and it was like, woohoo, Mitchell's actually got the name right. Um, I am one of the worst, worst for names. Um, OK, and also, if you do want to get my attention, as Gamer Dan has just done, um, Please put at PlayStation Racer in the chat and uh, that will be all good. Right. Where are we? Let's get this wire untangled. Um, I think that we're pretty much ready to go. I think I'm over the time that I said already. Uh, but yeah, quite a lot to go through there. So I'm going to start the quality and we'll see how we go. Well, it all looks a bit manic down at the first corner. I hope that isn't a taste of things to come, my friends. <laughs> I really don't. And the other thing, remember, when we go into that first corner, cold tyres, guys, cold tyres. Now, yes, I am qualifying on hards. Again, I am just trying to get to grips with the hard tyres so that I can stay with people. Thanks, Thugs. That's the other thing I've got to try and do is get used to changing the camera over. The other thing I'm doing at the moment is I'm just writing a new model in a uh, module, even in the randomizer, so that people will be able to see on screen what race we're doing next, the parameters of the race that we are doing next. Um, that is going to take me a little bit of time to do purely because of personal stuff that I've got going on over the next few days that is going to keep me um, otherwise a little bit busy. Um, the other thing that I would really appreciate at some point is um, did you enjoy, do you guys enjoy when we have an incident on track and one that we want to just have a look at from a learning point of view. Do you guys enjoy doing that at the end of the stream? Is that something you'd like to see more of? I did notice that somebody mentioned that it was a nice thing to do and not a lot of streamers do it. Um, I 
started to do it just to try and learn from my own point of view. Not to settle arguments or anything like that, it's just purely to learn. As with there, I was more aware of Gamer Dan coming through there. Yesterday, I'd have probably cut his nose off. So hopefully, learning already. Now, Gamer Dan will be almost definitely on the soft tyres, because most people will be on soft tyres, and they are going to be quicker than me around here. So that's the other thing I've done. I'm doing this to try and teach myself to well, continue to look in the, the radar and the, um, the little delta when I've got it to see where people are. So this is the feature race that we're going to be doing on Friday at uh, Jackie Daytona's STCC event which is being broadcast on Playwright Stream um, or run through through his stream, not quite sure which. Um, so a lot of us in here are just trying to get some practice for this particular race. I'm going to let that car through. Oh. Well, that didn't quite work out. <laughs> oh. Okay, I think I, I messed up there. Should have just kept going, I think. Right, I'm going to stop talking and get back into racing that was a complete lack of complete lack of concentration on my part and whoever barreled into me there I apologize that was all on me it started already in it track limit that means we're not going to set a um, penalty uh, set a time now really does take some work these hard tyres ah. we're off again let's get out of the way of these guys way 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 down the order but that's that's all right that's going to encourage me to learn to come through um, but i'm going to have to be very very careful on that first corner 
So I am going to be uh, very, very quiet in this first run. Okay, and thank you for that. Uh, College of Tom, no, it's me. It was all on me. I was, I was, um, I slowed down at the wrong place, parked my car in the wrong place, and um, that was fully on me. No apology needed. That was totally on me. Totally on me. Right, let's get this one underway. Um, I'm just going to give it a moment or two just for people to change their tyre and their car settings if they need to. Uh, so one of the other things I've got to learn to do is when I am going to slow down and let somebody buy is don't do it on the racing line. Don't do it on a place where people can't see you. Um, I have got to think more about where I let people past when I bump them. It's all too much of a... Um, I, I like want to get out of the way quickly and let them through quickly. And sometimes that's not the best thing to do. Uh, sometimes you just got to have a think and think where it is. Uh, good evening, Jack. Good evening, John. Galactico. Uh, all the people that I haven't said hello to thus far. Right, let's get into the race. Again, I'm going to be a little bit quiet on this one uh, because I do want to work on this. Um, and I'm going to need to seriously concentrate, especially given what just happened. So I'll see you guys on the other side. And hopefully I'll get the strategy right this time. Last night I pitted on lap three. Not a clever idea. Three lights, four lights, five lights. Oh, God, that was a long hold. OK, right, heading down into the corner. We've got quite a few abreast. Right, leave some room on the inside. Checking the radar as we go through here. So I'm going to be looking at the radar a lot, lot more tonight. Oh, Jinky getting a bit loose there. Again, just needing to be aware of Jenky on the outside there. So we pretty much went through there side by side, but I just needed to keep my line tighter, knowing that he was on the outside. Yesterday, I'd have run him out wide. So hopefully that little lesson, I've learnt a thing or two, and I can keep applying that as we're racing. Deep into that one. Forgot I'm on the hard tyres. Need to brake a little bit earlier.
Hi, Welsh boy. Oh, that's going around. I've got Tom now and coming around the side of me. That's it. A little spatial awareness, a little bit better there. Hi Red Dragon, thank you very much. Oh, we're going three wide into this one. This could get messy. Hopefully those boys will keep it nice and tidy. They have done. Looks like Kian backed out of that one to fight another day. He's got under the inside of Tom there. To take a place, lots of trading places going on up ahead. Again, I've got to be careful. I've got uh, College of Tom on the inside of me. Oh, no, Matt, Mikey snuck through. What a cheeky little move that was. Nicely done, though. Oh. Hi, McVagger. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. 
Right. Let's get going now. We should be in some air. Oh, Makovic is going really slow. What is going on there? Oh, I'm too deep, too deep, too deep, and I'm on the gravel. I'm on the grass. Oh, I was looking at the chat. Why am I looking at the chat? I need to turn that screen off on Friday so I'm not tempted to look at it it's interesting what you say about Jack Kobe leading the race at the moment um, Ernie Ball was leading the race until he pitted so it would be interesting to see where the two are in relation to each other in a moment when Jack comes out the pits.
Oh, I'm really scrappy in this race. I don't know why, but my first race of the day is always a mess. Really don't know why. Evening, Shimmy. Well, am I closing on these three up here? I feel like I'm not. It's 3.8, 3.9, no, they're going away. Got a car up on the grass. Go on, Mad Mikey, so quick through that last corner. Always really quick. Can I stay with Mad Mikey and learn something from him? We're going to try. He wanted to watch Matt Mikey through this corner. Unfortunately, I've got Tom right in front of me in the Veyron. God, that Veyron's quick. Oh no! Sorry Tom.
Oh no, I've got to leave it. He's still there, he's still there. Fortunately, I've got a penalty and I'm going to have to do all that again. I'll do it all again now. Last lap. Can I get seventh? No, 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 no. I was trying to slide it around the outside. That didn't work. And now I've let uh, Jenky onto the back of me. Oh, come on. Ah, ah. Sorry, Jenky. Ah. Oh. That was me. I uh, just trying too hard. Go on, Jenky. That was me. I lost it. I dropped it. Jenky, there was no need for you to stop, mate. That was me. right at that one no I mean, actually I dropped it I mean it may well be that it looked like it was Jenky but I was I was slightly out of control as he uh, as I went round no no it was me I dropped it I was trying to get the power down a bit too quick off the corner to get on the back of Tom knowing that I have one corner left to do it and I felt the car go sideways and then if if Jenky did hit me it's because I was already going sideways um, that was not on him at all um, Jenky I think the only reason you tapped me is I was already sideways I was out of control mate before you hit me that was not on you that was me I was just pushing it really hard to try and catch Tom Tom is a darned good driver and for me to be able to race with him and stay with him that long was great was great 
Um, whew. Right. So we will edit the events. Uh, so we're going to come down to six laps now. Uh, same race, except now we are on mediums only and no need to pit. So we're on medium tyres, no need to pit. It just goes to show that on Friday I'm going to need that half an hour from half seven till eight to run and run and run as best I can to get the nerves settled down and um, not to make those silly mistakes that I made in that one. Um, I threw away a good couple of places in that. Um, really rather annoyed by myself if I'm perfectly honest. Um, should have been better. Should have been cleaner. Really should have been cleaner. Right, we're going to start this one at um, 21.50. Uh, as I said, we're on racing mediums only this time. It's a half distance race. It's a sprint race. No need to pit. Um, yeah, interesting, interesting times. Um, McVagger, the only issue I've got is I've got 16 in the room at the moment. We've got 16 in the room. I'll tell you if there's ever space, just jump in it. Take it, my friend. Just take it. It's one of the issues I've got now is these lobbies of mine are becoming uh, quite popular. And um, with it is a lot of fun and we're getting some good races in. Uh, but we are getting to the point now where we're going to need, you know, two lobbies running side by side. I know that Drat Fury is in the wings to set up a lobby at some point. Um, and I say that, Drat Fury drops in the ring. Good evening, my friend. How are you doing? How are you doing? Uh, Captain 420, why the spec R? It's uh, no. The reason that I'm in the spec R is because um, Jackie Daytona drew out our names and the car, and you have to run the car that you were drawn. So, for instance, I'm in the Sylvia. Kuro is in the um, Subaru. I think Malkovich might be in the um, Genesis. I'm not sure. Um, I can't remember who else is running. Mad Mikey's been running that 4C quite a lot, so he could well be in the 4C. But we've got BMWs, Sylvia's, Subaru's, Mitsubishi's, Genesis. Um, yeah, there's. I think there's eight different car types. Um, uh, Thunder Dragon Nemo, good evening. I see some BTCC liveries. They're nice. Yes, um, Jackie Daytona has set up the BTCC liveries for everybody. Um, so if I actually change my car, the livery that I will be running on Friday is, if I can find it, this one here. Um, so let's just change back to uh, medium tyres. I'll run this car this time. And uh, what's um, do, 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 do. Yeah, that'll do. So, this is the car that I'm going to be running on Friday, which is Tim Harvey's livery from back in the day. Uh, interestingly, you'll notice that I've got I'm driving the Nissan Silvia, but the actual livery is for the Peugeot that he ran. So, I've got a weird Peugeot badge on the front of my car. If, uh, if anybody is clever enough to notice. Um, but uh, yeah, that's why there are a number of really decent liveries in here and lots of different cars. Right, here we go. Let's see if I can do a little bit better. This 
fiddlesticks. Um, I've just messed up, guys. Never mind, it doesn't matter. This should have been a reverse grid, and I haven't reversed the grid. There's been an awful lot on today. So no reverse grid today guys, no reverse grid. That will confuse a few people that aren't listening on the stream. Because this is supposed to be a reverse grid race. And I'm chasing down the bay run again. Oh, I hate it when the servers crash on the dailies. Especially when they count it as a DNF. But I'm in a race now, I need to... Even though we're only on an outlap, I need to concentrate now. All on the same tyres on this occasion. No pitting or anything like that. This is just a straight forward sprint. And lights to flag. Incidentally, Friday night, guys, we're running the BMW, um, I believe. I didn't check the Discord, but I believe it's the BMW this Friday. It's going to be single make race at lots of different tracks. And I will not be racing lobbies tomorrow evening. If I am on, it'll just be for my own relaxation and enjoyment because I've got to be up, I think it's something like about 3 o'clock in the morning for an airport run. So no lobby racing tomorrow evening, I'm afraid. Hey Wayne. Oh, I'm nearly in the gravel. Looking at the chat again. I'm in the gravel that time. Not sure if that's going to be a penalty or not. Very, very untidy through there. GT Tom's got a nice slipstream on me. He's going to be on the inside.
So we've got Keaton up front, then Reese, then Ernie Ball. I don't see Jack Kobe. Lewis has got a big penalty. Jack, I believe that the pen at the um, the setup should be on this car. Yeah. It's not on the first one I ran. I keep forgetting I haven't got it on that car. Asian, his back end just catched me out a little bit. Oh. Tenth. Ooh. Ooh. That wasn't very good. <laughs> Guys, remember if you want my attention in the chat please put out playstation racer otherwise i could well miss your question or comment i right, so just a reminder that i will not be streaming the lobbies tomorrow evening because i am going to be up very very early the following morning so your result for that one uh keenan first with a 148.2 Reese in second with a 148.9, Gamer Dan in third with a 149.1, then Ernie Ball in fourth, Lucio in fifth, College of Tom in sixth, Malkovich seventh, Carlos in eighth, Jenky ninth, I got tenth, Thugs eleventh, Lewis twelfth, GT Tom third, tenth, Jack Kobe fourteenth, and Mad Mikey in fifteenth. And I don't think I read out the winners in the last one. Oh, dear, 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 dear. Uh, so. Keenan in first, Reese in second, and Gamer Dan in third. Well done to all of you. Okie koki. All right. Um, I am a little bit confused. If I come out of there, I'm going to close down the... The race has ended. bit strange don't know what happened there i must have pressed the wrong button somewhere um so now the bmw thank you mad mikey for throwing that up there and answering that question for jenky <laughs> um uh okay jack yeah that'd be useful for the uh the new setup uh, i'll have some time hopefully during the day on friday to um to have a play um Right, so now we are off to Spa. We are in, I'm going to do, um, it's quite a long race this one, so I'll go five laps on this one. Um, bum, bum, bum. We'll go with uh, custom weather. So we haven't got a clue what we're going to get. And we are in the grid start. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. That's all good. Yeah, we'll go with that. That's fine. And we'll need to take that off. Do, do, do. All the rest should be good, I hope. So we will change the settings. And the car we're after is the AMG Mercedes GTS 15. Mad Mikey. Oi. Did we not race? Have I messed up? I've messed up. I've messed up. What have I done? What have I done? What have I done? What have I done? I've completely lost ball. Where I've lost where we were. Oh, oh, it's been a long day. It's been a long day. Oh, come on. We'll... <laughs> Can I go and hang my head in shame? You know why? It's because I qualified rubbish. Yeah, Gamer Dan, thank you for the reminder. It's it's because it's I it's because I qualified rubbish. That's why I didn't want to race it. I thought I've I've had enough of Barcelona. Why why on earth do we want to do Barcelona yet again? Come on, guys, we don't want to do Barcelona. Uh, six laps. 
Dun, dun, dun. Um, slow is first. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my word. I got myself really confused as to what it was saying to, to sort the race out. I think what it was is I was trying to, I, was, I know why I was racing in the quali. That's what I was doing. My mindset was, was in the race. Um, well, in our day to day, medium tyres, slow is first. Um, friends only will go um, practice and race. We're just going straight in it. We just go straight into the race, guy. It's going to completely randomise the order. Uh, oh, Jack Kobe's just suggested that. Can you ju not just do race manually? Put the grid together. Um, I can manually put it together, but I can't remember who was where. So we'll 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 just we'll let the game decide. We'll let the game decide. So completely randomised it up. Sorry, guys. Um, I've got a lot on my mind at the moment. Um, I have got a lot on my mind. Um, it's no secret that I am a little bit concerned about the two girls going on this Hendy, if I'm perfectly honest. I'm hoping everything goes all right. Um, but, um, yeah. My mind is elsewhere. If I'm perfectly honest, my mind is elsewhere, which does worry me about Friday night. Um, I'm hoping everything will be will be good. Uh, the girls are already arguing about cases and packing and all sorts of stuff. Um, so, um, yeah, if the stream goes a bit wibbly wobbly, that's one of the reasons why I'm not doing the stream tomorrow, because I know my mind is going to be even more elsewhere. Plus, I'm going to need to go to bed very early because I'm up very, 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 um, very, very early. Uh, yeah, Reese, I did a Mitchell Morgan. I did a Mitchell Morgan. You know what I'm like. Um, the thing is, um, Kian, I know I can put it in manually, but it's just going to be too, too much flaff. Right, we've got 16 runners. I'm just waiting for Kian to grab his car and then we'll we'll get going um, yeah I very nearly cried off the stream tonight if I'm perfectly honest but I thought no I'm gonna do it but we'll, we'll get it done um, what tires am I on in this car I'm on the mediums Oh, game of dance out of this one now. Game crashed. And room full. Uh, mate, I think I've messed everything up. Hopefully we'll get you back in again in a minute. Right, cold tyres, cold tyres, cold tyres, Mitchell.
something I've got to stop the Friday track limits Well, be another one. Completely missed my breaking point in there. This goes to show you have an incident in this one and your race is all over. Very hard to get back into it. And again, never give up.
Oh. Well, we got that race done in the end. It was a bit topsy-turvy. A uh, little bit out of order. Uh, Ashley says, I hate GL4 cards. Also, this trout. Crap. Laugh out loud. Had to exit. Um, wow. Kian came in ahead of Jack Kobe. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Well done. Well done. And College of Tom in third. Well done to the three of you. Uh, I managed to get ninth in that one. Uh, certainly need to be doing better than that on Friday. Um, maybe there'll be a few offs and I might be able to pick up a few places so long as I stay out of trouble. So your top three there. Ian in first with a 148.8. Uh, Jack Kobe in second with a 148.0. College of Tom in third with a 149.4. And then we've got Reese in fourth. Carlos in fifth. Jenky in sixth. Thugs in seventh. GT Tom in eighth. Going really well. I was struggling to get even close to GT Tom on that one and getting quicker and quicker all the time. Um, I got ninth, Makovic in 10th, Jack Few in 11th, Ernie Ball in 12th, Lusu in 13th, and then we had uh, Lewis, Mad Mikey, and Kyle were DNFs in that one. But your top three, Kian, Jack, and Collie to Tom. Well done to you all. Well, we did eventually get to start that race because the host messed up big time and now we will go to spa and we'll do five laps of this one um i'm going to go custom weather so you goodness knows what we're going to get um that's fine that's fine that's fine yeah whatever 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 and we go no limit on that one because i'm going to trust all of you guys to grab what you need to get and we are on racing mediums no need to pit on this one and um we are looking at having the um amg mercedes uh, and again i apologize if i'm a little bit off this evening um i've just got so much on my mind right now um, struggling to uh, concentrate on uh, such a lot of stuff that's going on right now. Um, again, for those of you that have just joined me recently, I will not be streaming the uh, lobbies tomorrow. If I do anything, then I'll probably just be on doing my own stuff uh, tomorrow. Um, right, I need the AMG GTS 15. Well, that's shown me. I don't have a. It must be the GT three fifteen. I'm going to see what. It's. I think I've got the. Um, I think I've got the car wrong in the randomizer. If I'm honest. Oh no, hang on. So if I cancel out there. So some people have got the GTS 15. AMG GTS 15. How come I haven't got that car? Is it under Mercedes or is it under AMG? There it is. Couldn't even see it for looking. Duh. Couldn't even see it for looking. Uh, good night, Gutfire Ganage. Good night, good night, good night. Um, no, I've got it down in the randomizer as racing medium tyres. The rand. This is a purely random race where the randomizer has decided that we're doing Spa, AMG Mercedes GT15. Racing medium, no pit. So the randomizer has decided what tyres, not me. Because that is the beauty of the randomizer. It works out what tyres and stuff. Um, it could quite easily have been comfort tyres. Which would have been a bit crazy.
Okay. This is going to be one interesting race. This is going to be one very interesting race. going to get on track for a moment Whoa. that's me not looking where I'm going race go with the GT black if you got it I'm not going to worry too much Come on, fix up the car. Whoa. Okay, braking a lot, lot earlier than you think. Slippery out here. Okay, 22.25 I said, 22.25 we are at, let's get this one underway. Now my dilemma is when I say 22.25 under the new rules, if people haven't actually got a car in, we're going to go for it. So unfortunately it looks like um, Drac and A. Lewis are uh, possibly going to all out of this one and we are going straight into the race on this it's very very difficult to know what the weather is doing if I'm perfectly honest this is going to be very very interesting this one All right, let's get this one underway, see what happens. This one is going to be a complete lottery. It really is. What tyres do you start on? Wow, yeah, interesting. Very, very, very interesting, this one. Captain just came fourth in the Daily Race B. Well done, my friend. Well done. Whoa, that looks very damp. That looks very, very, very damp out there.
that is almost into tyres I think get this slowed down really early into this first corner oh lots of bumping going on whoa getting bumped left right and centre through there I don't know what all that was about guys but there we go Oh, that gap's closing. I had to back out of that one. That gap was disappearing on me fast. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. This one is going to go in the record books as the craziest race ever. Looking at the radar. Where is everybody? I'm clear of them. We have got cars all over the shop. I apologise if I pushed Kian off, but I tell you now, I have been bumped so much it's hardly surprising that I've bumped people off because I have been pushed left right and centre I got smacked into the first corner so I apologise for that but it's been chaotic this first lap completely chaotic it's the only word I can put down to it. Those of you that have the opportunity to look back, you are going to see that we got cars all over the place at the beginning of this race. And yeah, I was watching the radar like crazy and the mirrors. Where is Kean in this? Is he still running? Oh, that's a penalty. Sixth. Oh, he's ahead of me. Good. Oh yeah. Come on, slow down. Yeah, just in front of me. Quite the battle going on up ahead.
Oh, it's a long run into the pits. Come on, guys. Come on, go to work, go to work, go to work. I can't believe I'm chasing down Jenki again. We always seem to be chasing down Jenki on these races. Oh, I've gone too deep. Two cars in front, four seconds ahead. Shumi and Jenki. Now Jenki's uh, just overtaken Shumi.
tell you what, this isn't a bad combo. That's off. Because he didn't have the right car, Jack. Is it a lot quicker than what we're running? Okay. Well, that's all right. I shall consider that when I read out the final standings. But this is why we're starting to announce the cars in Discord now. So people can get the right car before the night. But, of course, it is going to take a few days for people to... Um, understand that and work out what we're doing so for those of you that weren't around at the beginning I am now going to be announcing the cars that we're going to be running in the following night and the tracks um, in discord and also they're going to be posted in the description of the video and I've just chucked it off the road now I'm talking that's given me a all second penalties I cross the line. What a pain, what a pain, what a pain. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to be um, random generating the following day's races the night before, then posting them so everybody will know what car to get. Um, so yeah, the, the Black Series BMW is, uh, sorry, the Black Series car is probably going to be quicker but um, who knows so did we like that one should that go in the randomizer I mean that was really really quite cool I like that that really did seem like a good one um, and it was interesting with the with the rain which of course we might not always get it's only because it was set to um, to be all over the place uh, the game decided on the weather on that one Matt Malkin says it's a god awful car <laughs> so I guess that's a vote for no <laughs> um, yeah, if, if Reese is in and out, as you're saying there, if Reese is in and out of spec car, it, it'll always race to the line and then back out. Always does. Uh, so, first place, Gamer Dan with a 227.4. Thugs in second, congratulations, with a 228.2. College of Tom in third with a 230.2. .2. Shumi in fourth, I managed to get fifth. Jenky sixth. Ernie Ball seventh. Jack Kobe in eighth. Malkovich in ninth. GT Tom in tenth. Uh, Reese, Lusu, and Drakfu are all running, and Kian was a DNF on that one. But your top three, Gamer Dan, Thugs, and Collie Tom. Well done, well done, well done to you all, because that was not, not an easy race by any stretch of the imagination. Right, we're into another purely random race. Now, when I'm saying purely random race, what I'm meaning by that, if I can find Fuji, where's Fuji gone? 
I can never find Fuji. There it is. Uh, when I say random race, what it's doing is it's grabbing any track, any car, any tyre, and any t any um, tyre combo uh, that is in the game. So it could literally be anything. We could even get carts around Le Mans, for instance. Could even get carts around the um, Nordschleifer. It, it is that mad the way that it is set up. It could be absolutely anything. Um, so here now we're going for GR2 cars and we are on racing mediums and this is another sprint race. So GR2, Fuji, racing mediums and another sprint race. No need to stop on this one. Uh, College of Tom, got to rest. Thanks for racing, guys. Thank you ever so much for racing with us again, College of Tom. I'm so pleased to have you back. And I had some cracking races with you earlier in the day around Barcelona. Um, you got the better of me, I think, on the occasion where I was chasing you. And I loved it, though. Really, really making me work hard. Really, really. And the only time I could overtake you was when I put a wheel off the track. Um, uh, Captain420 is asking me if I'm giving loans for cars we can't afford. Sure, I'll give you a loan. Uh, what should we say? 35% interest? Oh, I think that's cool. We can do that. Um, no, I don't want to make you guys have to buy cars. Um, we do publish a list of all of the cars that are available in the game. Um, and I am very much aware that not everybody will have the cars. Um, should we do... Uh, so we need to be racing mediums, don't we, I think? Uh, my I'm going with this car because my last outing in this was very disappointing. I was in somebody else's lobby on Special Stage X, slipstreaming, bump drafting, and they took me straight into a wall head on. Um, it wasn't just me. There was five of us, I think, all piled into this wall, one after the other. It's like a pack of cards. Boom, 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 boom. Um, arrest. What's my favourite car? My favourite car is the BMW VGT. An unusual choice, but I absolutely, it looks great, it drives great, I absolutely adore it, really adore it. Um, going to be interesting to see how this one runs, we shall see. Um, oh dear, qualifier at uh, 22, 22.47, this one, just give enough people just a few minutes. Good evening Kuro, how are you doing my friend, I hope you are well. Uh, Ashley, have you got a, any GR2 car? Any GR2 car will, will do you. Unfortunately, this is the um, state of play with the randomizer. We really don't know what we're going to get. Just so that you are aware, after this one, we're heading to Deep Forest in the BMW M303. So that's the 2003 edition of the M3. And um, we need sports soft and sports medium for that. And then after that, we're off to Sardegna. A layout, a Genesis X, which is a GR3 car. So basically, you could run any GR3 car, I guess, in that one. But the Genesis X is the one the randomizer has chosen for us. And that's racing soft and racing medium tyres. Um, so those are the races that we got lined up. And then we'll be heading off to the Nordschleifer again in GR2s. So it'll be the same as this. Right, just waiting for this to tick over. And then we'll see how it goes. So we've got a good old mix of cars in here. Good evening, Emtech. Um, Jack Kobe is in the GT1. Gamer Dan's in the CLK. That's a quick car, that's CLK. Shumi's in the CLK. Lusu's in the GTR, another good car. Um, Kian is in the RS5 Turbo. That's often a car to watch. Uh, Jenk is in the GT1, I'm in the GT1, Drak Fury is in the GTR Nismo, Reese is in the GT1, Malkovich is in the SX Concept, one of my favourite cars for the longest time, and I was really considering that for the twisty bits, because I think that's going to be a good car around the twisty bits. MTech's chosen that one as well, as is Thugs, as is GT Tom, and we've got M Mendez just joining at the moment. Um, 
but I am going to get this one underway very quickly. So it depends how quickly Mendes joins. We have got two more places if anybody wants them. Mendes, you're going to have to be very, very quick. And then we're going to get into this one. This is just going to be a random start on this one. I did say I wasn't going to wait. Ashley, grab a car real quick, then we're going. Come on, my friend. Is that everybody in? Right, we're going, guys. Good luck. Remember, please keep it clean. If you do bump somebody, just give the place back and apologise in the chat afterwards. Uh, if I do bump anybody, I'll give the place back and apologise verbally. And if you do need my attention, please put at PlayStation Racer in the chat because I'm all over the place tonight. My mind is elsewhere this evening and my driving is far, far from adequate tonight. Oh, we're starting third on this one. One light, two lights, three lights, four lights, five lights and we are... Go! Oh, bogged down massively off the line this car. I had no get up and go whatsoever. No idea where to break into this first corner. It looks like there's a lot of people don't know where to break into this first corner. Crikey. Boy oh boy guys. What is going on tonight? What is that all about? Look about a first corner incident. Why am I in racing mediums? Because that's the tyre it's supposed to be. Um, yeah, racing mediums. Everybody's supposed to be in racing mediums. Ah. All right, I'm going to spectate because I got completely roughed up into the start of that and I'm so far away that it's not really worth running that one. So at the moment, let's just do on this view. We've got uh, Shumi's out front. Lusu is in second. Gamer Down is in third. Kian in fourth. Jack Kobe in fifth. Mendes in sixth. Makovic seventh. And Thugs in eighth. And at the moment, up front, we've got a big, big old gaggle of cars. You've basically got everybody back to fifth. Absolutely rocking it. So we're on board with uh, Jack Kobe at the moment. Oh, Kian's lost it. He's lost it. That promotes Jack up to fourth. And we've got one, two and three in front of us, all rather close. You've got Gamer Dan chasing down Lusu closing up really quickly on Shumi there so that's closed this little group up Jack Kobe using all, all of the track and a little bit more god this car is slippery all over the shop
very very loose this car on corners expensive car this I think it was about two and a half million credits wasn't it I think one of the better cars around here is going to be the NSX if I'm honest um, we've got people wandering around the track up front so going into this uh, corner at the front here Shimi out front Lusu going into this corner they're going to close up again Gamer Dan has taken a nice line but oh trying to get the power down there was difficult loads of wheel spin on the exit of the corner the CLK is really loose on acceleration but these three are really really driving away it sounds like he's in that CLK so further back we've got another little quite a nice little race going on here we've got Emtech, Thugs, Malkovich and who's up the front I can't see oh Mendez Malkovich making a beautiful move on Mendez there what a beautiful move that was but can he get it slowed down into this corner that's going to enable the other two to come underneath oh we're going to be three wide through this corner has Malkovich kept it how is this going to shake out as we go down towards the first chicane Mendez just out in front or oh, Mtech taking a little look up the inside of Thugs or oh, it's a little bit of a knock through there just going into the corner so back on board with Thugs now Mendez gone wide that's going to let Markovic through Mendez fighting back against uh, Technic here we've got Thugs looking for a move up the inside he backed out of that very very nicely looks like that gap was closing on him Mendez and Emtech having a little bit of a, of a knock now although Emtech came off worse out of that one Oh, sorry, Mendez came off worse out of that one, not Mtech. Mtech is uh, doing okay, but not quite got the grunt down the straight, although it could be slipstream, I think. I think uh, Mendez was getting a slipstream off Malkovich as we go into this corner. Mendez out front, Malkovich breaking early to get that rotated around. We've got a BMW joining the party, Thugs. He's got a br great corner there and on the power. Mendez now back down into eight. This is change and change and change with these guys all the way through the race here. It is really, really change, change, change. Whoa, out on the grass. Oh, Mendez gone round now. So we jump on board with Thugs. Thugs chasing down Malkovich. Go into this corner. These three pretty much line astern. Thugs taking quite a bit of the corner. Malkovich being a lot more careful on the corners. I still think that that Honda is one of the better planty cars for around here in this race. That said, Shumi came it down and Jack Kobe way out front. Technic getting it loose as well on that, uh, that exit of that corner. Just on the follow cam at the moment as we go down towards the uh, first corner for the last time. Just jumping up front, we've got Jack Kobe. He's about three seconds off of Gamer Dan, but Gamer Dan is chasing down Shimi. Both of our top runners are in the CLK now. So was the CLK the car of choice for this particular race? Gamer Dan looking for a way down the inside. Didn't quite manage to pull that one off. Shumi's got a nice line through there. Can Gamer Dan do anything about that silver car up front? I love this, we've got two cars exactly the same. Two really good racers. Oh, Shumi's gone a bit deep. Gamer Dan looking for a way around. Oh, Gamer Dan gets it loose now. So, so loose. Gamer Dan with a look up the inside. Looks like that, uh, I think he thought that that gap was gonna close, but Shumi does not play that game. He will leave room. You can go side by side through corners with Shumi. Whether you're gonna come out in front or not, that's another matter but you can go side by side. So here we go, Gamer Dan is going to get a slipstream here, but has Shumi done enough to get this to the line? 3.1, 3.0, 2.9, 2.7, 2.6, 2.5, 
It's going to be close. Oh, it's very close on the line. 0.146 on the line. Wow. A little bit further back, Thugs now has got a slipstream on Kian. Kian pulls over to lose that slipstream. It's a drive to the line, but I think Kian's got this one. A little bit further back. What else have we got? GT Tom. Mendez are oh, way off the pace. Looks like he struggled in that GT1 car. And Drac Fury doing what he does best at the back. Showboat in. <laughs> Let's just stick on board with him for the a moment, just through these last couple of corners. Getting the back end out of this Nissan. Getting the old smoke running. There we go, there's the smoke. <laughs> He's all over the shop. He is all over the place. Wow, what a race that was. But I tell you, that start, gentlemen, was outrageous. That first corner. Um, I think people need shooting. I'm going to save that. We'll have a look at that at the end of the stream. Um, interesting. Interesting. <laughs> Those of you that want to look at certain things in that race, keep it for the end of the stream, uh, which is going to be coming up pretty soon. Um, I may well end up just jumping to the um, one of the other races because time is getting on tonight. Uh, anyway, Shumi was first with a 133.9. Uh, Gamer Dan second with a 133.4. Brilliant race between those guys. Jack Kobe a little bit off, but with the fastest lap of a 133.2. Then Lusu in fourth, Kian in fifth, Thugs in sixth, um, Technic in seventh, Malkovich eighth, Lewis in ninth, GT Tom in tenth, Mendez in eleventh, Drac Fury in twelfth, and then we had Jenki, myself, and Reese all bugged out of that one. It was chaos at the beginning. Uh, but your top three that stayed out of trouble Shumi, Gamer Dan, and Jack Kobe. Well, 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 well done to the three of you. Right, going to try and get this one set up PDQ and see if we can get through these. So theoretically, we are off to a race that we all really, really like. We've done this one a couple of times. It doesn't come up very often, but when it does, boy, do we have fun. And it is Deep Forest Raceway with that BMW. It's a good one. It is a good one. Oh, guys, please keep it respectful. If we get when we go in at the first corner, remember, we've got cold tires. We need to brake a little bit earlier. And if we're in cars that we're not really sure of, then just err on the side of caution. You're not going to win a race into the first corner. And then, you know, the rest of the race, you know, just try and just keep it under control. We've got a lot of people that are braking really late and, and trying to do some in. Uh, choosing my words carefully here some interesting overtakes into corners sometimes it's easier to follow somebody in and then try and do an undercut on the way out and get more power down the straight and you get a much cleaner exit um that way um i mean i'm not the cleanest and i may be being a bit hypocritical uh and we're all trying to learn but um yeah that's what we need to be doing Right, what tyres do we need? Oh, Sport Soft and Sport Medium for this one. Um, so we need uh, Sport Soft. And um, Sport Medium. Required. And we will start this one. And I'm... Qualifier at 23, 2305. I just need to shut my door, so I'm going to step away from the screen just for a second. Um, but yeah, guys, the rules are, and there's quite a few people that um, I am watching. There seems to be quite a few people that are, are pushing the rules a bit too far at the moment. 
if you bump somebody either accidentally, wherever, into a corner, down the straight, anywhere, maybe if you've lost control of your car and you bump somebody, just give the place back. It's an apology. It's basically putting your hand up and saying, sorry, mate, I made a mistake. I didn't mean it. I apologize. Give the place back and then just explain what happened in the chat. And then we all tend to be happy and we move forward. If you don't, if you bump somebody, even if it's by accident, even if you think you're going for a gap and the gap closes, if you don't, if you bump somebody and you carry on, and this applies to all of us, me, everybody, it's basically saying, and excuse the language, but up yours, I don't care. I don't want to race respectfully. I just want that place. And that's not how we race. That's not how we race. So please, if you do bump somebody, just give the place back by way of an apology. It's just a massive thing in my lobbies. It's something that has stood us in good stead for, well, for 12 months or more. We've been doing this. Well, I, you know, we haven't been doing this for 12 months. We've probably been doing this for about seven or eight months, something like that. But it's stood us in real good stead and we've had some great, great racing. Um, for me, if I bump somebody, what I try and do is give the place back. And I apologise verbally on the stream because at the end of the race, I've got so much stuff that's going on. And yes, sometimes I don't realise what I've done. And the stewards in the chat will call me out. They'll say, you know, you'll be at PlayStation Racer. Mitchell, you pushed him off. Mitchell, you bumped. And I'll address it. Even if I'm halfway around the track, I'll address it. I'll find a safe place to pull over. I'll pull over. I'll watch for that person. And then I'll let them through. And I'll race with that individual, especially if I've spoiled their race. Because very often, if you push somebody off, you wreck their race. They're at the back of the field and they've got nobody to race with. The least you can do is back out, go to the back of the field, wait for them, and then give that individual a race by way of an apology. It's easy. It's easy. Um, and, you know, I'm not looking at the chat. I'm not looking at any individual um I, i've just noticed there's a few words that are going on uh that speech was a speech that i give out from time to time in fact i used to do it every single stream two three four times um it's just how we roll it's just how we roll. that is not aimed at any one person and if anybody takes offense then i'm sorry but it is not it is not aimed at any one person that is aimed at all of us um gave me down a lewis um i want to get this one underway you guys racing heavy damage is on is it well i tell you what let's go with heavy damage and see if it stops people bumping Let's see what happens. Because I'm a great fan of heavy damage, if I'm honest. I really am. I know a lot of you don't like it. I am a great, great fan of it. Because I think it makes things, people think twice. So I am leaving heavy damage on for this one. Assuming it is. I'll just do a double check. Bum, 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 ba -dum. Mechanical damage is heavy. If you hit somebody, if you hit a barrier... Heavy damage is on. And if you run into the back of somebody, you damage their car. Their damage is going to carry through as well. So be careful. Shumi, that's not a problem, mate. I'll probably give myself damage anyway, so I won't worry about it. Um, right. I am going to get this one underway. I don't know what... I've got Gamer Dan, number one Pops and Lewis. I'm not sure what's going on, but... As I said, under the new rules, I want to get this going as and when. I'm not going to be hanging around anymore. So I'm going to start the qualifying. We've got three guys that will not be running. Hopefully you guys will be able to join us in the next one. So we've got a five minute qualifier and then we'll be into the race.
the randomizer or the, the lobby is actually set up for this car so if you can't get your car in it's going to be um, wide bodied engine swapped or you've done something to tune the car which means that it's out of scope of the horsepower the PP or the weight um, I know I had to buy another one of these because my car was not stock I tweaked it to do one of the world circuit races and then I had to buy another one the first time we ran this Didn't quite stay wide enough. The janky there. Whoa, too much curb. Right, here we go. Too deep there, need to slow down earlier. Oh, all over the place there. That, that's, that's, that dog's through, I was all over the place. Forgive me guys, I'm staying out of the chat, I'm just racing. You know what I'm like when we get into these uh, these discussions. I'm going to leave you guys just to work it out amongst yourselves.
Right. What I will do for everybody is I'm going to go through the rules on this one. Or the, the, the race conditions. Um, because you need to run both the sports soft and the sports medium tyres on this one. And I believe that we've got fuel set as well on this. So you are going to need to be careful, everybody. Um, right, so the event settings. Um, we're on race for real, blah, blah, blah. All the same normal stuff. Four laps of this one. We've got custom weather, which is random, so anything could happen. We've got rolling start, slowest first. BOP is on. Slipstream is real. Mechanical damage, damage is heavy, so if you bump somebody, it's going to hurt. The tyre wear is five. The fuel consumption is one. So fuel should be okay, actually, but tyre wear could be something to worry about. And um, we are on sports medium and soft tires and you need to run both so you will need to pit at some point medium and soft and those of you that are struggling with your car the category is 549 pp a 339 bhp and a 1555 kilogram those those are the details for this particular race um, so just to reiterate there the tyres, medium and soft sports tyres required. Medium and soft. Right, so I'm just going to give it a moment or two before we run. Uh, Drat Fury says last one for him. Uh, I think we've got a... Um, we lost quite a few people. It's got a bit tetchy in here again tonight. I have to say... Come on, guys. Calm it down. I'm just, I'm just going to go with this. I'm just going to get the race underway, and I'm just, I, I need to distance myself from the chat. Sorry, those of you that know me, you'll know that I don't do what's going on in the chat at the moment. Um, it frustrates the living daylights out of me. We're here to have fun, and. It just seems to have taken a change this week for some strange reason. Actually, I think at the end of this one, um, I might just do the replay that we all want to look at and call it a night.
Guru, we're going to have a look at the replay in a minute. I'm going to be led by you guys for what we're looking at because I'm I'm not I'm not looking at the chat because um, it's just winding me up. I'm afraid at the moment, but we will have a look at the um, we'll have a look at the replay in a moment. I don't know what it is this week. Mr. Fury, I'm coming up behind you, mate. <laughs> that just means let me through if you're showboating. As much as I love to watch you showboat. You watch him on this, on this, uh, on this, uh, look at it, look at it, look at it, look at it, goes. Oh, I'm following him now. Oh, I was enjoying the spin too much. <laughs> I tried joining him and failed miserably. I've got to learn to drift like you do one day. Oh, well, well, we're off and into the gravel now. I forgot, I'm not driving a GR4 car anymore. Uh, but like I said, my, my head is not in this now. I'm not interested in racing or anything right now. And I, I know how silly that sounds, but it's, those of you who know me will know that's how this gets me. damage on the front that's going to stick with me for the remainder of the race oh joy hmm. Shumi was going to come around me and create damage and he hasn't he's just run away <laughs> oh my gosh Yeah, gamer, I, I like doing the replays because and studying them. I learn something every time we do it. Whether it's me that's done something wrong like last night, whether it's somebody else, I, I just love learning from them.
Well done, thugs. Good race. You got them better than me. Oh. Good and proper in this one. Can't touch you. Well done. Um. Right, where were we? Jack Kobe in first with a 140.8, Shumi in second with a 141.1, Jenki in third with a 141.8, uh, Technic in fourth, Mendes in fifth, Thugs in sixth, I got seventh, Lusu in eighth, Drac Fury in ninth. Um, Drack was showboating, doing what he does best. <laughs> I do love watching him do that. Um, Jack was your number one, Shimi number two, and Jenki number three. Well done, the three of you. Well done, well done, well done. Right. That's it. I'm done with racing tonight. Um, if all it's going to result in arguments, let's not bother racing. But what we will do is we'll pop across and have a look at the um replay and i'm not racing tomorrow night doing the lobbies so maybe taking a 24 hour break is or even a 48 hour break is maybe going to give us all time to actually think about what we want um i know what i want from this channel i want to get back to what we had before this week and i just want to write this week off um sorry if i'm a bit Sound a bit down, but those of you that know me, you know how I roll. Can I not paste into there? Yes, I can. Right, that's shared. You guys can do what you want with it. If one of you wants to stick it up in Discord, feel free. Um, can somebody just do an at PlayStation Racer and tell me what we're looking for? I know we're looking for the first corner. Um, if there's other stuff you want to look at, then we can look at it. We're watching it now, Kuro. We're going to go through this now. Um, I mean, you're just looking at my car, but you can't go through the corner like that. You you just you just can't go through the corner like that. I mean, I was third in this. I will just watch that from my follow cam. We're going down into here. We got cold tyres, so we've got to brake a little bit early. I decided to brake at the beginning of the curve, which is a normal place. We got cars going down, not making the corner, just all piling in. 
I don't think I broke early. Maybe I did. Maybe I caused it. You tell me. You tell me. But that was just... Was just chaotic. Where, who we got at the back? Um... Drac didn't seem to get off the line at all. I don't know what all that's about. Um, so we we'll go on board with Technic. And we can just see. I mean, it's about the only one who's actually doing anything half decent. Look at it. I mean, it's, it's, it's cars everywhere. Absolutely everywhere. We've got a wide track, and this is always going to narrow. I mean, what we can do? Well, let's, let's do this. Let's just um, let's just go forward to Shumi, and I'm going to go through every single car start. every single one and then if you can throw up at PlayStation Racer if you want to look at any other moves around the race um, we can do that you know Shumi's coming here minding his own business nice corner no worries there on with uh, Lusu here again one of the new people in our lobby settled in really really nicely as Lusu Gets a whack up the inside, manages somehow to stay out of trouble. Great racing from Lusu, brilliant, despite all the shenanigans. Um, we're on board with Gamer Dan. Gamer Dan gets a great start going down the outside of this, finds himself in a little bit of space. He's staying down the inside here, he backs out, you can see what's going on. Hard on the brakes, stays to the inside, respectful. You could see exactly what was going to happen. Perfect. Let's go. So we've done the Usu. Um, we did me. Um, Lewis. Okay, so we're on board with, with Lewis now. And again, I'm not picking on anybody. We're going through all of the cars. Again, it just goes to the, the left of that car. Trying to take the line around the outside of the corner, gets caught. Ah, it, that's unfortunate because once you get on that green Astro, you're a passenger, especially in these cars. That, in my mind, is just very, 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 very unfortunate. And a lot of people are going to call him out on that one, but I tell you now, yeah, once you get out onto this green stuff on the exit of this corner here, this stuff, you're a nightmare. Lewis, the only thing that you could have done and what I've learned to do the hard way is be out where the um, where the Ferrari badged car is on the left hand side and use this bit of runoff to the left. Because if you put it on that green stuff, you are a passenger and you're going to cause mayhem. Um, that's my personal opinion on that one. Um, you, you're you going to cause may complete mayhem. Uh, this is on board with Reese. So Reese gets a, a nice little start. Coming down into the corner, lining up nicely. Breaks a little bit later than me, but again, he gets uh, 
clobbered by the car behind. Now he's done the right thing, he's gone out onto this grey stuff and then he's going to join further back after all of the, the grief that's gone on. So it's, that's the example of get out onto that green stuff at Fuji. Um, you know, it's just a, a characteristic of that track. My advice would be to get it, get out of it um, if you get on the green stuff. It's like when you're on um, Spa doing that little bit at the bottom where you've got that long, fast left-hander. If you get on the green stuff, you're going into the barrier. And it's the same on this one. So we're on board with Mendes at the moment on this one. Gets in a little bit deep. Uh, arguably, I think that just caught him out on the brakes. Maybe a, a little bit of a knock from behind. I'm not quite sure. It, it's just, you know, it's just all a little bit messy. Um, we're on board with MTech on this one. false start there so um, that's going to put him out of position a little bit that catches out a few of the cars behind but again if you've got a pole start <coughs> and there's a penalty coming up the guys behind have got to avoid the car that's had the pole start so nothing on mtech for that one uh, and thankfully he actually comes off quite well because he manages to keep out of the way of all of the trouble uh, until lewis came across and then got into uh, the other car there as well which was just a little bit unfortunate with all of the the, um, the grief that was going on there. Um, this is on board with Thugs. So you're all getting to see, you know, what you did in this race. And I'm not pointing fingers, this is just so that people can learn. We're all going down here, we've got freezing cold tires, plus people are not absolutely sure where their braking zone is in these cars. Um, I'm pretty sure of that, just by going what happened. And we like three, four abreast. You know, what you got then? Five, six cars abreast there. Um, it's just like, keep your boot in, hope you can bash everybody out of the way and get through. In my opinion. Um, that's why I sort of lost, I lost my rag a little bit, I'll be honest, um, with this one. Just because I was set up for it. And I mean, you tell me. Give me a thumbs up or thumbs down. Did I break too early? Did I cause all of this mayhem? I don't know. I mean, this is definitely one that will not be going into the um, in the randomizer. I'll give you that for nothing. Uh, Jack Kobe stayed out of the way through there nicely. I mean, look, it's all going off, but he's got it slowed down. He's tried to stay out of trouble. Got a little bit of a knock, but managed to get through that reasonably well. So GT Tom got a bit of a poor getaway. And GT Tom is one of the cleanest racers. Um, I'm, I don't mean this in any mean way, he's not the fastest on the track, but I'll tell you what, he's getting there and the consistency is coming and he's one of the cleanest guys on the racetrack. I've had some wheel-to-wheel -wheel action with GT Tom and I love racing with him. Uh, but even he found his way through that quite nicely. Nice one GT, I like that. I tell you what, the way he's racing, he's going to be right up there with the best of you very, very, very soon. It just seemed to be just everybody wanting to get to the front into this corner, I think. So Jenky by his only mission went a little bit deep. But I think the stuff's kicking off around him all over the place. Uh, he gets a two second penalty for being, for ramming somebody, and there's not a lot he could do. Um, where are we? And to come back to the beginning, and. Um, you know, so. I, as annoyed as I got, 
and frustrated as I got, I'm not laying this on anyone's person, any one person, because you know, it's just so many people wide going into this tight corner. Borough Makovic got a good old clout there, but well done for keeping that on a straight line. Well done, my friend. Uh, Game it down, I think we looked at. And we also looked at um, Kian as well. So basically, you know, that is, that was the first corner. Complete and utter carnage. Um, and this is the problem with the randomizer. I mean, going from the um, AMG Mercedes to a GR2. But then, you know, if we want to run all the different cars and have different things with the randomizer, this is the sort of thing that we're going to get and the sort of thing that we've got to learn to cope with. And we've all got to put our brains in gear, me included. And I'm talking to myself here as much as I'm talking to anybody else. If we go from a GR4 to a GR2 or a GR1 car, we've got to engage our brains and say, OK, we can't break at the same point. We've got to break a bit earlier. That's what I did with this one. I mean, normally I would break a lot, lot later. Um, but I was thinking with the GR1 car, we've got a lot of power going into that first corner. How quickly is it going to stop? Um, Mad Mikey, no, it should have been private. It should have been private. Um, right, see it. Uh, so, um, Kuro saying a couple of mistakes, late braking on cold tyres and bad entry angles in cars that can't turn. I think that probably just about I mean, Kuro's sentence there, a couple of mistakes, late break in on cold tyres and bad entry angles and cars that can't turn is sums it right up. And also Captain said, I think the switch in power caused this. And I think you could be right. Um, Kuro also says a couple of mistakes caused chaos. It's nothing intentional or deliberate. I think it, I think you're right. Um, yeah. Uh, Map Mikey, uh, changing cars, not the issue. Maybe a few laps practice for random races. I think you're probably right. I think you said earlier on having five minutes practice. Um, the reason why I was coming away from the five minute practice is very often all I see is people doing donuts down the straight and things, which is fine for some of the cars we're used to. Um, but maybe we all, me included, need to get out on track during those five minutes. And just get to grips with the car and the braking zones and just do a lap or two. Um, or have the 10 minute quality back again. Maybe the 10 minute quality is something I've thought about. Rolling starts as well. I mean, the daily races are all rolling starts. Anibal, very true. The discussion in the chat is very unnecessary. I think what I'd like to do is open this up on Discord. And I'm just going to make a note because there's a few really good questions in there. So one was the rolling start. You know, maybe that would sort stuff out. So. Um, and 10 minute quality. And we want. <laughs> we'd be interested in. in um yeah we'll see right okay so um we wanted lap number three i think somebody was saying oh we're getting into this silly thing in gran turismo we're trying to go forward as a nightmare jump me through So we're thinking, OK, let, let's just do this um, by way of a thumbs up. Who would like to go back to doing a 10 minute quali?
Okay, so if you go back to that one, I mean, yeah. And where are we? Um, where's your car? Losing myself for the moment. I want to get a better view of this one. So we've got a nudge there, and then the other car comes in and just pushes wide. You know, is is that is that retaliation? I mean, Kian's going up the inside of those two. We have a nudge on the uh, on the car on the outside, and then he comes in and thinks, okay, we're going to have the same back. My question my my thoughts is that is the point that this all starts this is I think because I've been in this situation so many times before with me where I've been the Audi um okay, let me just take a step back um. I'm, I'm hearing, I think here, what we need to do is we need to go with a um, a 10 minute practice and a five minute quali. And that's what I'm going to, that's, that's what I'm going to move back to. We're going to go 10 minute, 10 minute practice, five minute quali. If you agree with that, please put a double thumbs up in there. Now, what I would say here is. And I'm going to go back to discussions that I've had with two or three top A rated racers on this one and how they would look at this corner in this particular instance. OK. And I'm not interested in names. In fact, I can't even, I can't even remember who's in the cars right now. The Audi should be closer to the white line. He's gone too white. The um, Ferrari. It's, I know it's not a Ferrari, but it looks like a Ferrari. Is it a Ferrari? I don't know what it is. Is that a Ferrari? Maybe it is. A, no, it's just a Toyota in a Ferrari colours. Um, loads of space left. I mean, even that Ferrari could potentially be further over, maybe following this 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 um, line around. Um, but for that corner going through there, I think what would be said is that the Audi should be much, much further over. Sort of almost, you know, this car is probably better positioned and you can see the angle, the attitude of the car going around. Whereas the Audi on this one is going a little bit far out on the brakes. Also, it looks like at that stage, so trying to back out of it, admittedly, and it looks like this car is just sort of taking the normal line around there, leaving room on the inside, as is the car behind the Honda. I know that that is a tough ruling, but that is what has been put to me before when I've been in this situation as per the Audi. Okay, then we go forwards. And we get to this point here. Now, I just want to go back a bit. That's that tap. The Audi then is way out in front. No question there. The Audi is, is, is way, way out in front. But theoretically, for this corner, Everybody, in my opinion, should be where that car is. That Honda is in the right place. The Audi, if you're going to defend that corner, should be further over to the left, is what I am being told by A plus rated racers. And of course, at the end of the day, the, um, the, the Ferrari car is looking to go up the inside of the, the Honda. So yeah, 
a bit uh, a bit interesting that one if i was the ferrari i'd have probably tucked in behind the honda and looked to get a better run it's 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 a dive from too far back that's always going to be closing you're always going to be in the vortex of doom there or vortex of death whatever you want to talk about it always going to be an issue so yeah unfortunately that ferrari car hasn't made the corner in my opinion they are going to get around the corner but they've not really made the corner and the audi has taken the normal line as has the honda on that particular one and then of course the audi gets run out wide now what i'd like to see is um which car is This one here has, has done that really, really nicely, actually. I think. So we're over on the side. We cut this one nicely. Took the bollard a little bit too much. It's got a nice line through here. So this is how you should be running that, really. Run out a little bit wide, in my opinion, there. But getting across. Okay. We've probably still gone across wider. Uh, but arguably, yeah, so that one's going for the apex and then going to get the move done on a few of those cars. Could probably have been a bit tighter, maybe, if I got to be perfectly pedantic and horrible. Uh, maybe giving a little bit more room for the car behind, but on the whole. Yeah, whatever. All right. Um, Drac is saying, go back a corner, Mitchell, which, which I'm not quite sure how far back you want to go and which car. Um, So anyway, make what you will out of that one, guys. Um, that was my opinion on what I've been taught by A plus rated racers with regards to, you know, push to pass and closing up corners and things. I think that for a lot of us on here, you know, potentially racing lines, um, racing lines are going to stop a lot of this by not leaving doors open. Mad Mikey says, think that day off has come at the right time. I think you could be right, my friend. Thugs, I'm off. I come in for fun and this is getting all too serious. Good night, everybody. I don't blame you, my friend. I don't blame you. It's the reason why I'm not doing the last few races that we had scheduled because uh, it's not fun. It's not fun. It's all getting a little bit too, you know, we're here to have fun, respectful racing. When I'm racing, I don't care whether I come first, second, third, last. It really doesn't bother me. So long as I can have a decent race, have decent battles with one or two people through the field, I'm happy. Um, we, we just all seem to have got to the point where we've all got to win at all costs. And, you know, maybe that is where we're at with the daily races, but not necessarily where I want to be here. Um, for those of us that aren't very good, for those of us that are middle ranking, we want to be learning off the good races in here and the good races in here want to have clean races. It's as that it's that easy. Um, Jack Fury saved the bashing for last man. Absolutely. 
Uh, Kuro, it's because I've been missing on track this week. Do you know what, mate? <laughs> In some respects, I'm glad you haven't been racing with us because you'd have lost your temper big time this week. Um, and I know you like a little bit of confrontation, and I mean that in the nicest, nicest possible way. Um, or maybe we could have done with you on the track, to be quite honest. Um, but there we go. Gamey Dan, enjoy your day off. We'll be back Friday to give you a hard time. No doubt you will. On Friday, by the way, guys, on Friday, um, I'm doing the STCC at, uh, we'll be practicing between half seven and eight o'clock. We've then got two races. We've got the feature race and the sprint race that might eat into the normal streaming time. I will be streaming the whole thing, although I won't be talking very much because I'm going to be trying to race well. And um, once we've finished the sprint race, then I'll be dropping into the lobby and we'll be doing the BMW 1989 car on lots and lots of different tracks. Um, keep your car stock, please. Put a nice livery on it and come join us. With that, I am going to shut this down because I've had enough of it all. And um, hopefully, hopefully, Friday we can get back to what we normally do, which is, as I've said, clean, respectful, above all else, fun racing. And this just doesn't seem fun at the moment. Um, and it's certainly not fun what I'm seeing in the chat right now. Um, enough said, enough said. Um, I'm out of it. I will see you all on Friday with any luck for what should be a smashing evening. I'm using the word smashing under advisement because we are going to be in the BMW 1989. Um, there could be bumping and stuff. And on a Friday night, it, it does tend to get a little bit like that. It shouldn't be like that during the week. But on a Friday, it, it does tend to be a little bit like that. And then hopefully Monday we can get back to some sense of normality. So I will see you on Friday. If you haven't already, please give this video a like on the way out. If you're new around here, please subscribe. And thank you to everybody that is still subscribing and members and supporting my channel in one way or the other. Apologies to everybody for all the shenanigans and everything that's going on and the tone of the chat and everything else. Uh, it's not normal, but hopefully we'll get back to normal Monday. I'm out of here. Catch you later. See you guys. Bye for now.